echoed around the gorge. Nothing happened. Good, said his driver. All's well. We'll have a cup of cocoa and then make our way. But high above them, all was not well. A long line of full cars was about to be winched down the slope. They had just started their journey when some empty cars became derailed. The winch groaned. Break it! Snap it, shouted the freight cars. And they did. On, on, faster, faster, they giggled. The snowbank and buffers will stop them, said a workman. But he was wrong. The freight cars plunged into the ravine. Scarlowe and his driver heard the noise and looked up. Avalanche, they cried. No plume cleared, there was no sign of Scarlowe. He was buried deep inside the high drift, blocking the ravine. Thomas applied his brakes. The squeak was much louder, and his brakes wouldn't work properly. He raced round the bend much too fast. Thomas's wheels hit a bump in the track. Some of the special blocks bounced off his flatbed. But Thomas didn't know. He was worried about his squeaking brakes. I know, he thought, I'll puff more slowly. Thomas arrived at the top of a steep hill. As he went downhill, Thomas started to roll faster. Thomas applied his brakes, but they still weren't working properly, and the squeak was even louder. Gordon was puffing up the hill. Slow down, Thomas. But Thomas couldn't slow down. He raced into an emergency siding and he hit the buffers with a big bump. More of the special blocks bounced off his flatbed down a steep bank. Now there was only one stack left. But Thomas still didn't notice. He was still worried about his squeaking brakes. Hello everyone, welcome to the end of the video. My name is Hugh Valentine Jr. and today we have something a bit different. So, I didn't get to do the third crash from Thomas, what was the last crash? I forgot the last episode, but of course it's Thomas with the bricks. I have something new today. I am thinking of doing a contest.